Hi, I'm Jen from Topspin, and I'm going to teach you how to create and customize an email for media widget. This widget lets you give away digital media in exchange for a fan's email address. It just takes a few clicks for a fan to enter their email. The widget can be designed, customized, and shared across the web. You can offer one song, several songs, videos, artwork, or any type of digital file that you want. Feel free to get creative with your offers. To create a widget, you must first upload the digital file you want to give away. In Topspin, go to Products, click Add Product, and select Digital Media. Click Add Files and upload your desired content. Music files must be in Apple lossless or other high-quality formats, but you can also upload videos, PDFs, JPEGs, zip files, and other digital media. If you want to include a graphic in your widget's design, upload that image here too. Next, go to the Promote tab, click New Offer, and choose Email for Media. Enter an internal name for your reference and a public name that fans will see. Now you can start customizing your widget. The headline appears directly above the Call to Action button. The button text appears inside the button. You can see a preview of the widget at the bottom of the screen here. Topspin requires fans to confirm their email address before they can get their free download. The confirmation URL is the page your fans visit in order to download their free track. When they submit their email address, they'll immediately get an email that looks like this, with a confirm button that links to this page, which is automatically created and hosted by Topspin. Instructions for customizing this page can be found in the knowledge base. Your email widget can be customized in several ways. Size and theme let you set the basic dimensions and background color. Highlight color lets you set the color of the widget text and button. You can tweak the colors to match your website or wherever the widget is going to live. For instructions on more customization, like making the background transparent or adding streaming player functionality, see the documentation in the knowledge base. I'll come back and explain these next fields in a minute. First, let's continue with customization. Down here, you can choose the free download that your fan will receive. Select the type of product and the specific file and format. You can add graphics to your widget in a few different ways. Here, you can select an image from your products tab. Here, you can display the artwork associated with the free download file. And here, you can have the widget cycle through images from a Flickr slideshow. You can also make the graphic area clickable and send fans to a custom link. Let's go back to those fields from earlier. The email widget includes a small link to our standard privacy policy. You can also add a custom link to a URL of your choice. Input the text here and the link here. You can see it down in the preview. There's also a small info box in the widget with some legal text that tells the user what they're signing up for. By default, this text includes your artist name. You can customize it in two ways. Email signup phrase keeps the standard message but replaces your artist name with a name of your choosing. Sign up messaging adds some custom text after the sign up phrase. Finally, let's go over distribution options. Selecting Offers API allows you to access this widget through integration with website platforms like WordPress and Drupal. Paid affiliates can help more people discover this widget through third-party services. Test Override lets you publish the widget and test it on your website, but prevents visitors from actually using the widget to enter their email. We've made this widget incredibly easy to share on Facebook, Twitter, and MySpace, or to embed on a blog or website. You can disable sharing by unchecking this option. You can also restrict access to your widget based on the user's age, by checking this box and filling in the information that follows. Once you're satisfied with your settings, click Publish and you'll get the embed code for the widget, which you can place on your website. Clicking Test Widget opens a page with your widget by itself, where you can share it in Facebook, Twitter, or MySpace. You can return to this page to get the code or edit the widget at any time by going to Promote and clicking the widget's name. If you edit any of the settings, be sure to click Publish Changes. You can also see how many views, clicks, and new fans it's gotten here. Down here, you can see where your widget has been embedded and which sites are generating the most views and clicks. That's how you create an email for media widget. Thanks for watching.